guys and welcome back to the Wolf Weekly Vlog. Today we're going to be starting an exciting new series on milk texturing and latte art. Uh, but before we get to the fun stuff, the latte art, we have to cover the fundamentals and that's getting a good milk texture. Latte art simply doesn't happen without excellent milk. Uh, so today what we're going to be doing is showing you how to create really tightly textured microphone, glossy, silky milk which has a wet paint-like look to it. Uh, so everyone goes about this in slightly different ways and it really doesn't matter how you get there as long as the end result is good. I'm going to show you my technique, uh, but it is a bit of a personal thing. To be honest, milk texturing was the thing which as a beginner barista I struggled with the most. It was my Achilles heel. Uh, so the way I'm going to explain it to you is the way I found I could overcome that the best. What you do need to do though every time is make sure you just look after your machine by purging before and after you steam the milk and making sure you wipe down your steam wand. Alrighty, so let's get started. So what we're going to do is hold the milk jug in our dominant hand. For me, that's my left hand, but for probably 90% of you, that's your right hand. What I'm going to do there is make sure that I can keep the milk jug still and that's why I'm using my dominant hand and then with my non-dominant hand, I'm going to reach up and turn the steam wand on and off. So to find my position, uh, there's a few things I do. Firstly, I have my steam wand extended, not all the way and straight towards myself. Then I'm going to use the lip of the jug to create a point of stability. So I will insert the steam wand into my jug and what I'm going to do if you look from above is have the point of the, the tip of the steam wand directly in the center of the jug. Now if we look from the side here, I can see that I'm going to kick under the base of my jug and I'm finding half the radius with the point of my steam wand. Now the depth itself will vary and I usually adjust that a little bit based on sound, but a good indicator is you can see that little line above the layer of milk. Next up, things happen very quickly. So what's going to happen is I'm going to reach up with my nom don hand turn on the steam nozzle and that's going to push out jets of air which are going to spin the milk around in a circle. So we're going to add air and we're going to incorporate it as it gets sucked into that whirlpool. Afterwards I'm going to switch off the milk and I do this based on temperature with my hand. You can do it with a thermometer especially when you're starting up. Ideally it's 60 degrees plus or minus 5 degrees and that's quite a wide range. Alrighty let's give it a go. So I'm finding the centre of the jug, kicking under for half the radius, spinning the milk in a lovely whirlpool, correct temperature, now the key bit, purge and white every time, and what we're left with is nice silky glossy wet paint. Alrighty, so next week when we join us back on the blog, we're going to go over the some of the common errors we see, so a bit of milk troubleshooting. Alrighty, I will see you then.